So tomorrow, I'm gonna be firing up the Lone Star Grills Offset Smoker. And what's gonna go in that is something we are gonna be seasoning up today, which is this. I have eight pounds of bone-in beef chuck short ribs. These are USDA Prime. I'm not really gonna do anything on the outside here, pick off any loose pieces. Now, if you wanna remove the membrane from here, you can, but this membrane is a little bit different than those on, say, baby back ribs or St. Louis cut spare ribs. It's thicker, and it really does leave the back of the bone almost completely exposed. My experience is you can take it off, but I don't find a lot of benefit to it. It comes off pretty easily at the end if someone wants to take it off. You can score it if you want, but generally I just leave it on. Now there are a few dry spots here, so I wanna hit this with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce as a binder. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. I'm gonna start with my rub on the back. And what I'm using today is Texas Cowboy Rub from Wishing Well Barbecue. Get a little bit on our back here. Make sure we get our edges. And our top side. I know some people like to trim these up a lot and get a lot of that fat off. I generally just don't do that. Totally up to you though, if you wanna get any of that fat off of there, you can. Now that I have it rubbed up, I want to get it up off the bottom of the pan, so I'm going to put a rack under it. All right, this is going in the refrigerator overnight, and tomorrow I'll see you out at the Lone Star Grills offset. All right, the Lone Star Grills is up to temp. My target today is 250 to 275. I've got about half a gallon of water in the cook chamber and we're burning post oak for these beef ribs today. So let's get them on. All right, we're gonna let these go for an hour before we check them to see if we need to spritz. And if we do spritz, I'll be just using plain water. Probably gonna wrap somewhere in the two to three hour range, but it'll all depend on how they look, how they're feeling. So let's get the lid closed and get smoking. I'll see you back here in about an hour. All right, we're at the one hour mark. The temp's been holding really steady in that 250 to 275 range. Let's go ahead and see if we need to spritz. Those are looking really nice. I have to say that Wishing Well Texas Cowboy Rub just looks gorgeous on a piece of beef. I've used it several times and it just really looks great. We are looking slightly dry though, so let's give this a spritz with some plain water. We are starting to get that first hint of meat pulling back from the bones. One of the most beautiful things on beef ribs, on any ribs, but really on beef ribs. So let's get this closed up and we'll come back and check in another hour. All right, we are at two hours. Let's check our beef ribs. Those are looking really nice. You see we're starting to get some good pullback on the bones there. I do want to rotate these though. I want to turn them so that these ends are now facing the firebox. Going to spritz this again with some plain water and from the looks of it, I want to let these go for another hour before we wrap them. All right, let's get the lid closed. Let these keep going for another hour. All right, we're at the three hour mark. 99% sure we're gonna wrap these. Let's take a look. Yeah, we've got nice pullback on the bones there. See how we're doing tenderness wise. 
feeling pretty good, just a little resistance. Internal temp, you can see that right there showing 158. So it's time to go ahead and wrap these in some butcher paper. Just wetting this with some water. That one back on. Some water on here. All right, we're gonna get the lid closed. Keep on going here, keep on cooking. We'll check them in two hours. All right, we've been going two hours wrapped in the butcher paper, a total of five hours. Let's do a tenderness check, probe in there to see how the meat's doing. Let's say they're looking great, but it's just paper. Let's see if we can get in here. I'm gonna find a spot between the bones here. Feels pretty good. It's not quite where I want it in tenderness wise. So we're gonna go about 45 more minutes. We'll check it again. And remember, once it's wrapped, you could be doing this in the oven. It's just, I don't mind sitting outside. I like it sometimes. So I'll see you back here in about 45 minutes. All right, we are at five hours and 45 minutes, another 45 minutes wrapped. Let's check for tenderness. See, I'm gonna try and go through one of the same holes right here. That is feeling pretty good. That is feeling good too. All right, that extra little bit of time helped a lot. Just gotta be patient sometimes. This is gonna go onto a tray. I'm gonna cover it with foil, let it rest for 30 minutes. Then we'll open it up and have a taste. Well, I'm happy to say here, mission accomplished. After, what was it? Five hours and 45 minutes out on the smoker, two hours and 45 minutes wrapped, a half hour rest just sitting under a light layer of foil. This is just looking terrific. Great pullback on the bones there. There's not a lot left to do, but cut in. So let's go here first. Let's go right here. Ah, oh, there we go. That is what I'm talking about. Nice and juicy here. That has got some great juice in it. Nice smoke ring. Now I could just pick it up and take a bite out of it, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut a piece off here. Let's just go like this. It's just like brisket. Brisket on a stick. And here we go, cheers. That's just fantastic, oh man. That combination of the Wishing Well Barbecue Texas Cowboy Rub and the smoke, perfect on this. This is really, to me, what barbecued beef ribs are supposed to be. Mm. The bark on this turned out exactly the way I wanted. I don't think I could ask for a better beef rib. 